Hi everyone, this is Cami, and I am at an enchanted Karen land in the magical forest. Hiking back the land in the forest behind um, Karen's. We are in North Carolina, close to the South Carolina border, and it's absolutely enchanting, beautiful, magical spot. And when I came here, I came across something really, really wonderful. Um, here by the bank, there are these two trees that are intertwined. You have a black walnut and an ironwood or a birch. Um, it's a spot for lovers. And on the tree, I found some really, a lot of different engravings, but one that really, really caught my eye, something that was pronounced in there deeper than some of the other ones and something very old. Now, I'm not sure what the top line says. It's kind of blurry and out. It's, I think it might be E-A-R-B-A -A or D-A-R-B-A. -A. It's hard to, I don't know, or E-A. But underneath it, you can make out quite clearly Dale Earnhardt. Oops. And L-B-E. October... 1967. Um, so I was wondering, could this be Dale Earnhardt? I did look and I found out he is from North Carolina, less than an hour away from here, and this would be on the way to Greenville, but he would be, I believe, like 15 or 16 here and in high school. And it turns out he married his um, High school sweetheart, her name was Latane Brown. So maybe these are, this is a year before he's married. He was married at 17, and I believe she was 16. But this could this be Latane Brown, and then putting the E for Latane Brown Earnhardt, October 1967. They were married in 68 and had a son, Carrie Earnhardt, in 69. And the place is right... And it certainly would be a place to his teenagers to go by the stream and hide and get around. But I thought this was just amazing. Dale Earnhardt and LBE, October 1967.